Welcome back to the channel and to my garden railroad. We've got the track inspectors with me today and we are going to continue the wiring project. As you can see there are all those uh, loose wires and we now need to put them where they go. So a few of them go to these switches. I also need to remove all those switches and uh, inspect them. I will show you that later on and we need to isolate all the different track sections to make the um, train occupation system work. So let's go. The first step is to remove all the switches. This is easily done by unscrewing the mustard screwing connectors. Then I will fix up the switch which you will see later and then we are installing the black tiny isolating connectors. After that we are basically ready to reinstall the switch and then we have to repeat this process for every switch and every individual isolating section. For most of the isolating connectors there is a track seam present where which we simply can install the isolating connector but if there isn't we are using an angle grinder to cut a small notch in the track and then we can easily install the isolating connector. Now here's the reason why I'm removing all the switches in the station area. Um, we've got these two screws here and if you're going to use the switch very often these screws tighten up and as they tighten up the movement of the moving parts of the switch will get stiff and to counteract this phenomenon I'm going to put Loctite on these screws and that's what we're gonna do now. See, that's what I mean. The screws are too much tightened and now it's very stiff and won't go either way. So now we go right here. Tighten them gently. And now the switch will work. On to the next one. Here you can get a detailed view how we are installing an isolating connector. He has disassembled the tracks and then cut a notch with the angle grinder. Now he's cleaning up the cut with, the, with a file. And then we are basically ready to slide on the isolating connector, tighten the screws and then reinstall all the disassembled track. But now it is time to get some actual work done, so be ready for a time lapse.
Now that I have isolated all the different track sections, it is very important to bring back electrical power to the track. For that reason I have installed a bunch of cables, which I am now soldering to a track connector and then simply screwing this track connector back to the track to make the electrical connection. It's as simple as that and works great. Alright, that's what I got done so far. All the cables are where they need to go. And I've used some zip ties to bundle up the cables. So all is neat and tidy. I like it. Down here we've got a whole other animal to tackle. From now on we will see all this repetitive work as a time lapse. It took me several days to complete the work and we had bad weather in between. All that good stuff. So please enjoy this time lapse and see how I'm finishing up this project. There we go my friends! The station area might look like a war zone right now, but in the past couple of days I got a lot of work done. All the cables are where they supposed to be. They are neatly tucked away and tied with some zip ties. And now I basically need to refill all the trenches I made and then we can move on to the next project, which I'm very excited about. Most importantly, the track inspectors are checking out my work as well and they are very happy, I can tell you. For now, this will be the last aerial view of the station area. I hope you have enjoyed this video and we will see us in the next one. Bye!